What song would you use to describe your love life? Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. <laughs> We put our friend on a blind date with some of the best bachelors our town had to offer. My name's Avnor and I don't expect to find anything here today. They're gonna be asked five rounds of questions and at the end, she's gonna pick out the one. I mean, if there's one song I would say that describes my love life, it would be Lord Knows by Drake because Lord knows these hoes be wildin', bro. I'm gonna use a less uh, funny answer. Uh, Snooze by SZA, just a banging track, you know, it's smooth. And um, it's not just about making love, it's like the need of the night after because you're gonna hit the snooze button a few times, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna bring back the vibes. We're not doing no snooze by SZA, we're doing London Opatola by Jazzy B. <laughs> you don't know the big dogs are in the house, I'm gonna take her to the motherland. You already know sunroof open, Cardi's on, London Opatola. Are we sure you wanna use the Cardi's? Yo, I need to name the song. I'm gonna just say a few first few lines. Mom says, "Damn it, I didn't tell you. Jinna tera paar goriye, gabru ta very navi mitha bolda, ni tu ta fir jatta da pyar goriye." Okay. <laughs> All right. The song uh, I think I represents my love life is "Tenu sone chamada de a saari ni mere naale la mere naale yari ni e gal pakki jatta moja kar daaye." Yeah, cause you know, apna moja kari diya puriya. I'm done getting played by these Maloa. I'm done with these toxic ass bitches. Today I'm here and I'm gonna put my foot down because no one disrespects fucking 604 rental. If a guy hit on me while I'm with you, what would you do? I will ask the guy, why are you talking to your sister like that? <laughs> I'm watching a movie called Ashiki and now we're gonna make a remake here and have some fun. I mean, personally, man, if he's coming up to me and he's flirting with my girl right in front of me, I'm like, bro, what's the disrespect, man? Real shit, maybe it's a beef thing. If he keeps pulling up on you, keeps pressing you, I'm gonna have to call my boy, Genny Joel. My mom's been pressuring me for like months to get an arranged marriage, so it's either get an arranged marriage or whatever the hell this is. No one's gonna just pull up on us and take my girl like it's fucking nothing, you know? Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I guess it really depends. Uh, first and foremost, how's he coming up to you? Is he respectful and smiley? Or is he grabbing you by the waist? Because that is the thing. Who would grab me by the waist the first go? You've never been who to Tap House? That? you never been to Tap House? There's a lot Where of guys who do that. Me? Who I'm do not that? taking you. I'm just a Tap House. You know, when some guy comes up, he grabs you by the waist. Then there's some shit through shit through. But if he's like respectful, then you know, you can just politely make your um, presence known. And more times than not, the guy will fuck off. Okay. All right, first thing first, you know what? I feel like I'm a nice guy, so sometimes people play this shit, but you don't know, I already got all the answers lined up. I'd look this guy in the eyes, I'd be like, you don't know my cousins and shit? <laughs> and then if he doesn't listen to that one, I'd be like, yo, you don't know me and shit? And the last thing I would ask him, I'd be like, yo, bro, how much do you even bench? And that would just end them off for sure. So I got you, you okay, ain't wait, gotta worry. Quick question, how much do you bench? When I take, when I hit chest day and that pre-workout hit like she, I can pick up anything. There's not enough weights in the gym. Even par. <laughs> Even par. Okay, yo, so if the, if the banda comes up and he wants like the beef, obviously you wanna tell the guy to fuck off. But a big thing about this one is, I'm gonna be looking at how you react as well. Like, are you smiling? Are you like laughing at his jokes and shit? Or would you be like, you know, handy, like holding onto my hand tighter? Are you gonna get behind me? Are you gonna be like, yo, protect me from this man? You know what I mean? Like, are you gonna fucking ride? Or are you gonna die? Wait, 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 pause. Die? <laughs> Explain that one. There's like a, there's like, this is like a sign in the NDA. Yo, we can't talk about this shit. So yeah, so honestly, if some guy comes up, I just believe like on kindness is the best policy. So I'm gonna go up to him, you know, give him a quick sasri galpa ji hor ki hal chal, how's it going? And I'm be like, yo, stop, please. Wait, wait. Use magic words, kindness beats, you know, hatred, animosity. So just be kind with the guy. Okay, if if later the guy's like, who the fuck are you? I don't care. Well, you know, then I give him a quick Surrey Jack 1 Poo 604 special. You know, like take him down on the ground. I don't care what it is. Got all these gore gonna be recording, got the security. I don't care, bro. But if you're gonna fucking be all hard and shit, then I'm gonna be hard in on uh, uh, with you. Uh, with you. With you. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be hard with you. I'm gonna be hard with you, you know? Like, like. <laughs> what do you bring to the table in a relationship? My favorite restaurant, butter chicken and six garlic naan. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Why do you sound like that? I don't know what you said. No. Why do you sound like that? I, I don't know, it's my per na natural voice. I mean, yo, like, I'll be straight, man. What do I bring to the table? I didn't even gotta say this shit. You're looking at someone right here 
who is gonna be a better cook, best cook in the fucking house, bro. Is that it? Real shit, I think you should just get a job, like become a trucker or some shit, because the cooking is gonna be taking care of me. Cleaning, so maybe wait, that's you, but. You want me to be the breadwinner and you wanna be a housewife? 100%. I think I bring a uh, air of sophistication, stability, you know. Um, you don't have to really work, that's up to your choice. I mean, I'll be the main breadwinner. You know, girls are easy, right? Girls are stupid. You tell them what they wanna hear, but uh, you just gotta hide, you know, your bad intentions, you know? I'm trying to fuck. I just need, you know, a girl who's hasti kirti, laughing playing, you know, which I uh, What do I bring? I mean, someone that listens, a nice guy. Um, Wait, nice guy? Yes, nice guy. It goes without saying, I already bring that Malwa Jut bloodline. The second thing is, I've won more Pakistan competitions than any one of these people here. I bring that crispy ass pug. And last thing is that my parent has the most mitte and goods in all of Malwa. <laughs> people come from everywhere. So you already know if you're with me, you're gonna be having a good time. We're gonna be living that quality life. It's gonna be good shit. So are you taking me back to the pen? Is that what we're doing? I'm not gonna lie. I'm a desi banda like that. It can be a good thing or a bad thing, but it is who it, it is what it is and it is who I am. So I believe everything should be 50-50. Like with the table, yo, if you bring the legs of the table, I'll bring the tabletop. Right? If I'm buying you all these suits and these challenger, huh? all I'm asking for in turn is a 2023 Dodge Challenger Hellcat SRT. You know what I'm saying? I'm fine by myself. But the SRT needs a passenger, and that's what I'm here for today. Yo, what do you think I do for work? All the chanja you need, all the sona, you know, sona chamala na ge apna. Where are you getting this money from? As as you black kar de ya. Kevi chitta bhi kar. And now, a quick message from our sponsor. We'd like to thank Soda's Lab Grill for sponsoring this video. They just opened up the new location in Langley, and it's honestly fire. So make sure you guys check them out. The link's gonna be in the description. Simple thing is, I'll bring the table. And I'll bring the house that the table is in. All right. So I'm doing. I'm already doing like let's say 95% of the work, and I can't let these Malawa do everything. Right. So that's why I'm doing 95% of the work. Okay. Doing everything. Mat kar arrange kita. Mat table arrange kita. All you gotta do <laughs> is decorate it. Right. Okay. With your sone sone hat, soneya soneya hat. You know your sona sona self. Where are you getting this money from? Undisclosed, cannot say, but uh, you know, if you know, you know. I'm an entrepreneur and I go buy 604 rentals, you know, and uh, everyone knows that, you know, I don't know what, under what rock you've been living in, but you know, entrepreneur, you know, self-appointed, self-made millionaire, CEO, 604 rentals, go cop yourself some, you know, hit it up, run it up, that's all I gotta say. Where would you take me on a first date? Uh, where would I take you? Uh, maybe to the movie theater and we can watch Kung Fu Panda 4. I mean, look, off the bat, if I'm gonna be with you and see if you're gonna go on a second date, I gotta see if you're working hard. So our first date is gonna be berry picking. Is what? We're gonna go berry picking. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Um, you know, most guys, I think, in this circle here don't really listen too well. So there's probably going to be a bit of a talking and texting stage. You know, we figure out what you like. But, you know, a woman generally on a first date really likes a guy to take charge. So, like, you could do something like oysters and some white wine, uh, walk on the beach. Did you say oysters? Yes, I did. I'm vegetarian. Okay, well, we can do... We can do... Uh, some vegan restaurant or vegetarian restaurant. Not vegan. Vegan's totally different from vegetarian. It's it's unimportant, okay? <laughs> it's important. The point was that I would listen to you figure out all these things prior. Okay. Formulate a date around that and you know more just like 30% talking, 70% listening. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. 30% listening? No, I said 30% talking and 70% listening. Okay. Yeah, so you don't listen too well, huh? <laughs> hmm. Well, that kind of just, whatever, next. Honestly, for a first date, I wouldn't really know where to go, but then I asked my buddies and shit, and they're like, uh, a good girl like you, the best place to take you isn't Cactus Club or Earl's. They just had a White Rock Pier. So I just want you to know I'm gonna be taking you to White Rock Pier, and it's gonna be magical. I have nothing to say about next. <laughs> I'm a pronto loving guy myself, so the one and only spot I can take anyone on the first date is the kitchen, yo. We're gonna be checking if you're gonna cook up the pancakes and the pronte, because I don't like the pancakes, I like the pronte better. Why would you say you know, mooli de pronte, aldu de pronte, gobi de pronte, methi de pronte, you know, all the pronte. Then we'll see if we go on a second day. If you can't cook, yo, and you don't do the pancakes and shit, yo, you got the wrong take, yo. You mean if I can't cook Punjabi food? 
Yeah, that's like the only fucking food. I'm not trying to eat that bland fucking white people shit like that. I agree. No, no, no. Agreed. 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 I'm gonna be taking you, you know, all around the city, all around the town, and showing you all the low-key parking lots. All right. And like by the time night falls, you know, you would have made your decision, and we can get the date started at your Wait. favorite pop pick. You know, we can get the date started. We can get to know each other. You know, and like really mingle and like, you know. Just, just overall, I'll, I'll leave that. Like, I'll leave the magic happen. I'll let it happen in the moment. You know, less say, less talking, more doing. I don't gotta explain myself. It is what it is. Pretty self-explanatory. And like, it's just more of like in the moment. You know, we'll let the magic happen in the moment. You sound like somebody that wears Cartiers. You got that one, right? And a moose knuckle jacket. Yeah, you got that right. Very Jack. No, no, no. Like, Sorry. what's wrong with that? What's your favorite physical trait in a woman? Eyes, because bolli ki surat, aakhon mein masti, dur khadi sharma hai, hai hai. One of my dreams growing up was to have an NBA baby. So if she's 6'10", 6'11", 7 foot, I need some NBA babies myself. You know, I'm like 5'7", so I can't really make the NBA. 5'7"? She's gotta get my kids in the NBA, you know what I'm saying? If she's like 6'10", 6'11", at least, you know, I'll be happy. So that's your physical, favorite physical trait? Exactly, she's gotta be at least like 6'10", 7 foot. It's gotta be a good smile, you know, Hustly Kirti, laughing blink. Fuck, okay guys, I actually can't do this anymore. I'm tired of doing this nice guy act. <laughs> like, you know, bursting at the seams. I like a girl with the fat ass, okay? <laughs> I want to put some badam the tail on it. I want to model shit. I want to make friends with it. And I want to neend on it, okay? I'm tired of this and pretending like I'm the good guy just to get laid. I'm done. <laughs> All right, I'm a, I'm a scumbag. I've always been a scumbag. <laughs> and I'm not about to change for anyone. I'm done. <laughs> I just wanted you to know like I was abused as a child <laughs> and this shit catches up to me and I just want to feel safe like I just need someone who's really big like I'm not gonna lie she's gotta be at least she's gotta I can't do it I'm opening up out here about how I need someone at least seven feet tall who can make me feel safe and this is it I put myself out it's not for me that was cute though next I know I love Bronte and I know you love Bronte but yo the only thing I won't ask for is as long as you're not built like a prota, then it's it's okay. It's okay. I know we all are pronti, but yo, as long as you're not built like one. Who are we kidding, guys? Let's rephrase this question. Is it ass or tits? That's what we're talking about. And like, and my answer here is neither. I like hands because that's what's gonna be doing the cooking and cleaning in my house. Then why would you rearrange the question? So now that Abner got a chance to know our lovely bachelors, she's gonna pick the winner. And we're about to find out who impressed her the most. Let's find out who she picks. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> you guys look really innocent right now, <laughs> but I know what I heard. <laughs> and I know everything that was said. <laughs> but I think that that was, a weird fucking experience. Never would do that ever again. But I think my number one option out of this shit show would be number five. Who's number five? If you guys like this video, make sure to check out this video right here.